Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. So today it's Friday and Friday means Planet Zoo. And we've had a lot of safari animals the last few weeks and a lot of uh, Latin America animals, uh, South America I should say. And today we are going north and we are going to make a habitat for our first northern animal in this zoo and that is going to be the timber wolves. So we are building firstly the viewing platform. We were having two viewing points, one below and one above. And the one below will have like these glass panels, as you can see me placing right now. And those panels are directly viewing into the habitat. So the wolves will be in front of the glass, hopefully, and you can see them actually laying down and sleeping. And then you also have the upper part. And on the upper part, you can look down on the animals. So when they're a little bit further. And I have to say, uh, this is probably one of my most favorite viewing points that I've ever built. I really like it. It did took me like quite some effort, to say the least, because I had in my mind what I wanted to do. And like normally with Planet 2, um, it just didn't work out the way that I wanted it. So also we are having now this wood. We are going to delete that and we are going to replace it with actual stone, the same stone that we also have in the entrance. And I believe we also used this in, um, what habitat was it? I think we used it in the Jaguar habitat, at least with the, with the Latin or South America temple, I believe. And we, I definitely know that I use this in the entrance. So I absolutely love it. I love the way that it looks. I'm, maybe it's a little bit unrealistic to have stone on top of glass. It probably sh would be the other way around, but I just love the way that it looks. Also, yes, the top platform and the bottom platform are not completely um, synchronized with each other. The, it's a little bit crooked, but that's fine. Honestly, I'm fine with that. I'm not fine with that, but you know what? It is what it is. So you may recognize where this is. Because um, actually the timber wolves are directly located next to the jaguar. So when you had the capuchin monkeys, then you have this little pathway and there used to be nothing. And then we added a little bit of water. And then after that, we added the jaguar and the temple. And now we are adding the timber wolves in front of it. So this part of the zoo will be our northern part. We're going to add some more northern animals here. I'm not quite sure which one, so if you have an idea of an animal which we should include in this zoo, let me know in the comments down below and I will see if I can include that animal in my zoo because, you know, you know that I actually do it because you guys ask for, like, uh, cat-like animals in the temple zone and we added the jaguar. So if you want to have any other animals in this zoo, just let me know and I will incorporate that. If you're looking for completely Australian builds at the moment, I have those as well. I have a Australian zoo as well. I upload it every single Sunday and it will be a very, well, not, not a very small zoo, but a smaller zoo than I usually do. So make sure you check that out. I will make sure to link it in the description as well. So really guys, check it out. It is amazing. All the Australian items, they're amazing. So when I recorded this uh, video, the Australia pack hasn't even been like released yet or announced. So no Australia items for us in this build. What's the next build? Probably gonna have some Australia items. I'm not sure yet. I might do the African elephant next because then we can close off the entire Africa um, area because we had the safari with the zebra, giraffe and the African bison. I think if we do the elephant might be a little bit nice touch. I also thought it was pretty clever of myself to uh, include the water that was already there in the habitat with our timber rules. I know that according to the Zoopedia, they don't need any water, but I also feel, um, well, actually I always feel more comfortable with giving the animals actually uh, water where they can like play in and drink. I mean, all animals can swim, right? So why wouldn't you have water? In zoos, you always see water in habitats. So hence in our zoo, there will also be water in our habitats. And the downside of our viewing points, uh, we're trying to nice it up a bit. So we're using wolf decorations, we're using some arctic decorations. 
And I think, um, if I remembered correctly, yes, we are going to use those information signs, put our information balls in, and then with a little roof on top of it to make it look really northern. And then we are actually gonna have one of those edible signs, editable signs, whoa. <laughs> and we're gonna have wolf written on that so that people know that they are very, very close to the wolves. I did have some issues with speakers in this episode. You'll see uh, probably see a lot of messages popping up whenever I unpause the game. Because um, since the big update, or actually no, before that already, apparently my uh, speakers overlap with each other and the guests get annoyed by that. Hell, I didn't know that, so whatever, right? We're working with it. If I'm correctly, I cut most of it out. I'm not quite sure, but I think I cut all of it out. And I have to say, I really like the way that it's actually worked out. I had it in my mind, this viewing point. And maybe it's just me, but whenever I'm building something, I have something in my mind and I want it to look exactly like that. And I can almost never get that. And then it really frustrates me if it like it didn't work. But I think this is pretty close to what I actually had in mind. Maybe a little bit less rock and a little bit more wood. But you know, you can't wish for everything. And I actually thought that it looked really... Well, cute is not a word I want to use, but it looks really suitable for the animal and the way that it is uh, built, the architecture style. I thought it was really wolf-like. And maybe like the stones, it reminded me of the... It's gonna sound really awful, but the stones reminded me of Guild Wars 2 with the uh, Norns. Those are like um, a kind of people that you can play as in Guild Wars 2. And they are like really northern and they have a lot of snow and arctic builds and everything and the entire wolf items and everything arctic really reminded me of that so you know i don't know why i'm bringing this up even i already forgot that oh well doesn't really matter i also think that i maybe finally didn't build um, a way too big of a viewing point because i have the tendency of doing that i build either way too big or way too small there is no really uh, an in-between. And I've noticed that recently with my safari build because it was massive and I mean massive. Yeah, the animals don't need that big of a habitat and I don't mind. But when you look over the zoo right now, it is like really, really big. Really big. And that's fine because the entire right side of my park is a safari and there's going to be a right there anyway. So, you know, it's all fine. Doesn't really matter. We're now just placing some rocks to make sure that our little cave looks more natural and it looks like it, it fits in with all the surroundings. And we are using a lot of rocks and usually I'd use only temperate rocks because we're building in a temperate climate uh, and our animal actually loves the temperate climate as well. But the timber wolves also lives in the tundra and the, oh gosh, what was the under the taiga um, biome. And I believe I am using Temperate and Taiga because Tundra has like those weird white ice stones and I really didn't like those. And they completely don't fit in with all the surroundings. So we're using Taiga and Temperate and they are very similar. I mean like style-wise and color-wise they look very much alike and I quite like the way it looks. I'm actually just, I'm in love with this habitat. I love wolves. I'm also really happy that there are wild wolves again in my country and that they're coming back. And I know a lot of people um, probably don't like wolves because they say like, oh, wolves are aggressive and they eat the cattle. Um, I really don't care about that. I just love wolves. I think wolves are a majestic and amazing creature. When I was on holiday in uh, Germany, I actually went a day to uh, Switzerland. And when I was in the mountains in Switzerland, I actually saw a wolf. Which was amazing because I've never actually seen one like wild. Of course I saw them in the zoo but they're usually far back so you can't properly see them. And this wolf was just... I was in a car so I wasn't really afraid otherwise I would have probably been like Oh sh crap what do I need to do? But this wolf was... Uh, it was pretty close though but I was in a car so it's fine. And I was just like whoa that's amazing and then I wanted to take a picture and it ran off which really sucked because I have no proof of it now. And not everyone believes me, but guys, I swear, there was a wolf and it was really close to my car. And it was amazing. I've never actually seen a wolf, like, in wild, as I already said. 
So, I mean, that's the thing I can cross off my list now. Now I only need to encounter a moose in the wilds and then I am complete. My life is complete. Well, I wouldn't say that, but, you know, I love mooses as well. They should add mooses in the game. How fun would that be if you have, like, a, a Nordic expansion pack? Even though we already have the Arctic expansion pack. We should have mooses. I mean, we have, like, um, the things that Santa Claus has in front of his sled. Um, reindeers. Couldn't remember the word. Like, we have reindeers, but I think mooses are quite necessary as well, because I really like mooses. They're really big. I've seen them in the, uh, when I went to Sweden, uh, two, three years ago already. Ooh, so long. And I actually went to a, a park and they had mooses there. And it was really, they were so big. Like, I really didn't uh, expect the moose to be that big. But they were enormous, so I think it actually would be pretty fun to have them in the zoo. In Planet Zoo. We should start a petition for that. Bring the moose to Planet Zoo. Anyways, like before I would start any of that, which I probably wouldn't even start because I'm too lazy to do a campaign like that. We are like making this habitat look pretty with some foliage and some fallen trees. I wanted this to look really rough and wild as if the wolves were generally just in the wild which i think is most of the point of the woodland zoo have animals in a natural habitat and have the guest experience the way that the animals are experiencing nature so for the timber wolf that means a lot of pine trees and a lot of fallen uh, trees as well and the timber wolf like he lives in europe uh, north america and asia and we mostly use uh, trees from north america and Europe because the Asian trees there are uh, they look very different which is logical because they're from a different continent but I think like the European trees and the actual um, North America trees look way more similar to each other so they would be fit way way better into this into one habitat man I am falling over my words what the heck I'm sorry I have been recording voiceovers all day like you know that's what I do on a Sunday, record voiceovers because I don't really have a social life. Man, my life is sad sometimes. Well, let's not dig down that rabbit hole. <laughs> so you have these climbing trees that are uh, like bald cherry blossoms. And when you actually use some bushes, you can actually um, nicen them up, them up. And I actually think that that looks really, really nice. So it looks like a real tree and not just a bald tree. And that's what I have to say, like a lot of these uh, plants alone, they don't look that good. But when you put them all together in one habitat mixed with other uh, plants and trees, they actually look really nice. Same as the ferns, just alone. All those ferns together looks weird. But when you put them next to a rock formation or like a dead tree or just any regular tree, it looks way more natural. And I always thought it's kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, may, it might just be me, but I just think it's funny. And I've, I gotta say, I'm really impressed by the amount of foliage that is actually in this uh, habitat. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Foliage. Foliage? Foliage? Plants. Let's leave it at plants. Like, I'm quite amazed with how much there is. Because obviously the timber wolves, they live in forests and, um, you know, everything. So they're going to need a lot of nature and they're going to need a lot of trees and need a lot of shelter. So it's like more natural to them. But I am really impressed with the amount of landscaping that is in here and that it actually looks good and it doesn't look overdone. So, you know, kudos to me for doing that. Woohoo! <laughs> And at this moment, we are building our last and final rock formation. And we are gonna nicing it up using some plants. We're actually gonna use those little bushes and place them on the outside. To make it look like the uh, plants are actually living in and around the rocks. And I actually really like the way that I did that. I'm sorry, like I don't mean to brag, but I genuinely love the way that that's, it's looking and everything, so. You know, kudos for me and my amazing ideas and stuff. I'll stop wrecking now, don't worry. <laughs> or will I? 
<laughs> ah, probably will. So the thing that I uh, like to do, like, um, I didn't know that in the beginning when I just got Planet 2, you can actually check the uh, traversable area for all the animals. And you can see where the escape points are and everything. And you do it by pressing H and on habitats. I never knew that, like, I, I found that out by accident, so... You know, that's actually pretty good that if you didn't know, now you know I told you. So at the moment we are ma like making sure the wolves have everything in their habitat that they could possibly need. And I think that after we have done this, we are going to continue on the outside of the habitat some more. Because it looks pretty boring and also we needed the star facilities to be there close. That wasn't an English sentence. We need staff facilities to be close to the habitat because all the staff facilities that we have uh, either were full or were all the way on the other side of the zoo. And that's kind of ridiculous to have like something that far away from your habitat because your keepers need to walk to it every time and that costs time. So it's better to have like our staff facilities close. So we are now making the work zone and then we are going to make sure that the entrance to our viewing points in the habitat actually looks nice for guests. Also, I really love the new way of uh, selecting that you can just group everything together and that's it. You don't need to click individual um, pl players, I wanted to say, like, staff anymore. It's all one bit and I really, really like it. Like, good job, Planet Zoo. Love it. So we are making sure that the guests have seating. And we are also making sure that they have bins and donation boxes where they can just donate money, throw away the trash. Because, you know, um, for some reason all these guests are extremely rude and just throw trash on the street. Uh, I have been raised not to do that. Uh, apparently not all the guests that come to a zoo have been raised that way. So, I mean, for me it's just normal politeness when you have trash you throw it away in the bin. Or you keep it in your pocket or backpack and throw it away when you have actual, um, like an opportunity to throw it away. And usually that's at home, which means I also, uh, throughout the day, I have like a lot of trash in my pockets, like papers and plastic and stuff like that. So it's really funny in my job when the kids ask me, oh, Mace, what do you have in your pocket? And then I can like, uh, all these like papers I'm like oh I have this paper of all the children that were sick oh I have that and usually I have some coins in there as well or like a little last time I had this weird little toy in my po pocket I don't know where I got it anyways we are getting close to the cinematics make sure you stick around for that they are amazing and I'm getting better and better at it so guys make sure to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next episode bye